Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today we're going to talk about some Xbox settings. A lot of the videos on my channel are geared more towards Xbox because that's what I play on, especially the mod videos. So I did want to make a video just detailing some features that you may or may not know about. Some are on the nose, some get kind of stealth updated through these dashboard updates that we might not really see off the cuffs. And now that Microsoft has actually released a video showing the dashboard on the new Xbox Series X and S, this is probably what it's going to look like for a little bit, or at least at the recording of the video, this is what it's going to look like for a little bit. Now, there are a ton of things that you can do with your Xbox that I think maybe a lot of people still don't really know about. So if you want to see another one of these videos or you want me to find some other Xbox settings that maybe aren't easily seen or maybe features that you'd like to see in a video, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I will probably make another one of these at some point. But for right now, let's check out some Xbox features that you may or may not know about. So the latest dashboard update, My Games and Apps looks pretty familiar. You know, there's just some rounded corners this time around. But there's actually a little bit more that you can do, or a little bit more you can see, rather. So take a game like Modern Warfare, it is massive, nearing like 200 gigabytes, which is ridiculous one of the things that you can do is actually uninstall certain portions of the game that way if you're not playing let's say campaign or spec ops you can just uninstall those there's actually check boxes just like when we are looking at like game clips and what you want to delete you can do the same thing for my games and apps and it'll actually show you over on the right hand side there what you're losing and what you're gaining so if you end up in uninstalling some stuff maybe adding a few more things that you want to install it'll show it over there on the right and then when you're done just hit save changes and then you're good to go pretty small change but a welcome one because when you're getting ready for a new game so let's say black ops cold war for example you're going to want to move out some of your old games or take out some add-ons that you had for older games and uh, make room for the new stuff This next feature is one that has been around for quite a while, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. Now, your guide is pretty instrumental to the way you use your Xbox. That's how you get from point A to point B, and it is by default the dark theme. You can change to a light theme, but you can also put it on a schedule. And it's not where you think it would be in the settings. It's actually under your preferences, and that's how you choose like your color. But for the actual theme, we're going to go down to themes and motions, and you can select light or dark, but there's also a scheduled option as well. So let's say maybe you want the light theme during the day, dark theme at night, you can do that here, or you can actually set it up to do sunrise and sunset times, and that'll actually be based on the internal clock on the Xbox. Or if you'd like, you can choose specific times as well. Let's say maybe you're not playing your Xbox during the day, maybe you just play it at night, and maybe you want to switch between the two at night, or maybe not, and maybe you just want to keep the one. But you have the option here. The other cool thing here is that it's not specifically just for the guide. It actually will follow you throughout whatever you do on your Xbox. So if you go to the store, or maybe you're looking at other tiles on your dashboard those will show in the theme you just picked whether it's light or dark now the new xbox store is long overdue i thought the xbox store was not that great it was really slow there were like these auto playing videos that would pop up every time you would select a game and it was just very slow now this new store is pretty fast and it actually is really easy to navigate if you're already familiar with the tiles that are on the Xbox dashboard. So one of the things I love about this update is that you can actually turn off those auto playing videos. And if you like the video, that's fine. It's not actually gonna slow down the store at all, or it shouldn't. You can just turn off the sound if you would rather do it that way. And if you wanna turn everything off, you'll just get kind of static splash screens whenever you hover over a said game. And even some of the older games aren't necessarily gonna have trailers that will play. Most of them do, or at least most of the new ones do. So that's something to keep in mind too. For me, I, I like to just kind of turn it off. I don't really need to see a trailer um, when I hover over a game, unless I really just don't know what it is. Redesign aside, I think this is probably my favorite new feature on the Xbox store. So 
So let's say you buy that new monitor that you really want for the next gen consoles or maybe you're just upgrading your monitor but for some reason when you hook that HDMI into your Xbox you might get that new resolution that you get from your new monitor but you might not get the refresh rate or the hertz that you want from that monitor that it should give you so you can actually force that in your settings i don't usually recommend doing that it's always better to just like automatically have the xbox detect that for you this setting is just in case that doesn't actually happen maybe your hdmi doesn't really kick on the monitor and say like hey i can do this much resolution and this much refresh rate for some reason and you can just force that on the xbox so you can get that resolution and hertz or refresh rate now my capture card only does 1080 at 60 hertz so you're not going to see anything above that you can see that my monitor is set up for 120 hertz i just can't select that otherwise my capture card is just gonna be like nah so when you're in those TV and display options, you basically go over to video fidelity and overscan, you turn off the auto detect setting, you switch it to HDMI, and then that's going to give you like this weird resolution. And basically you can change that to whatever your monitor can handle. Same with the refresh rate. Now if you screw up and you like, I don't mean to do this at all, you can actually just go right back to the video fidelity and overscan, go to auto detect again, and then you'll be all set. Not really something I was just messing around with if you don't need to already, but if you get that new monitor and for some reason it's just not picking up on your Xbox, you can go and do this and then it should show you the settings that your monitor should be giving you or your new TV should be giving you. One thing that has changed like pretty much with every update has been the guide and that is something that some features are taken away, some are kind of pushed forward, and then some are just kind of thrown on you. One of which is the actual arrangement of the guide, so all those little icons on top. Well, you can actually customize those, and there's actually a straight up setting in your guide. When you go all the way to your profile page, you can actually customize the guide there. Or you can go in your settings and go to personalization, and then you can do it there and you can just kind of move the icons wherever you want. You can get to it in a couple different spots, but you can also mess around with your notifications as well. So you might notice when you share clips or something when you're playing a game, you, you do see a little notification for whatever you just did. In this case, it's capture and share, but you can actually go in your settings, your notification settings, and then turn off individual notifications for each thing specifically the xbox guide notifications because that is what's gonna throw that badge up on your guide whenever you open it up and i think that's a setting that most people may not see when they open their notification preferences on the xbox so i figured i'd put this as tip number five as something you may or may not know about so you don't have to manually mark as red every time you want to get rid of that badge and that is going to do it for five things you may or may not know that you can do on your Xbox One. And this is going to work for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. As Microsoft has already shown us what that dashboard looks like and it actually looks exactly like the Xbox One dashboard right now. So, so this video might still be useful to you if you upgrade to those new consoles or if you didn't know what these features were already. But that is going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if one of these helped you. Have a great rest of your day.